Hello, Snack Pack. Welcome back to Shop Snacks. Or if this is your first time, welcome to the stream. Um, am I live? Let's see. I don't see the chat. Oh, hold on. There we go. Still trying to get used to this new uh, streaming app. But anyways, welcome to the live stream. Uh, I'm Allison Sharp. This is Travel Snacks. Travel Snacks is all about eating good food, making friends, being friendly, being resourceful, and just living a good life. Maybe you want to live in a car, a van, a truck, an RV, a tiny home. Something that's not really considered normal, but that's okay. You can still have a nice living doing what you want to do. And here at Travel Snacks, we're all a family and we're all for it. Okay, so I'm still using this new, this thing called Melon. It's, a, it's an app that allows me to do a few more things than YouTube will allow. And let me get my glasses. I did change a few things around, so hopefully today we're good to go and we hopefully won't have um, delay issues. Uh, I do have a stronger connection today at this moment, but we'll see. <laughs> uh, so let's see who's in the house. Uh, hey, Grant is in the house, uh, one of our main moderators. Hey, Jeannie. Hey, Robbie's in the house, another one of our main moderators. Um, yes, back at it again. Tell a friend and hit the like. Oh yeah, if you're already on here, hit the like button. And if you're brand new, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Um, hey, Terry Sinatius is in the house. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Thomas from Northern New York State. Awesome. Hey, Reverend RV. Hey, Jane, how are you? Um, is that some blur? Is it just my PC? Hold on, let me see. Uh, I can't tell on my end, but it's very crisp and clear on my end. Hey, Tracy. Okay, connection looks good. Where's the scrolling banner? So I had a couple complaints about the scrolling banner. People were distracted by it or annoyed by it. <laughs> and I have mixed signals about it or mixed feelings about it on my end because I know that it could be kind of distracting or annoying if I'm watching, you know, somebody stream or like TV or the news, which I don't watch the news, but um, if I'm at someone's house and the news is on, but after a while, it kind of just blends in. But I, I thought that instead of doing the ticker, I would just put that information on a static where my name and, and channel used to be because pretty much everyone that comes on this live stream is going to already know that we're obviously already on Travel Snacks. And if they don't know my name, that's they could just call me Snacks or Travel Snacks or whatever they wanna say. Well, not not whatever, but you know. Um, so I thought I would just use the static bar, the banner to use, to put what was on the ticker before. So let me go, know if you guys like that better. Um, it doesn't matter to me, one, <coughs> excuse me, one way or another. Uh, but anyway. I'm just glad that we're here. Hey, Adriana's in the house. Many roads, no rules. Hey, Deb G, good to see you. Awesome, awesome. Hey, Angela. Um, hey, Arrowcast is in, in the house. Uh, been watching your previous videos. You have free spirit. You mentioned you traveled to Brazil. Yes, I went to Rio and I was there for Carnival and it was awesome. Um, hey, TJ. Hey, Dustin. Hey, Bella. Hey, Rebecca's in the house. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, again, if you're new, hit the subscribe button and notification. Hey, Dana. Um, okay, so if you are new, you may not know that we do these live streams sometimes once a week and sometimes every other week. So right now we're doing it once a week on Sundays. However, I wanna say it right at the top of the live stream um, and then I'll say it again at the end if I remember that next Sunday, we're not gonna have a live stream because it's Super Bowl Sunday. A lot of people are gonna be watching the game. I might be going to watch the game. Um, and then the next day is Valentine's Day. And so people might be getting ready for that or they might be going out like the day before Valentine's Day if they have a partner. 
just to avoid like the rush of restaurants or whatever. So we're going to not do it next Sunday. So the uh, next live stream will be, I think it's the 20th. Yes. So the next live stream will be Sunday, the 20th, 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern. Um, okay. So Thomas says blue banner is over the top of the channel name. Um, so the blue banner, I can choose what to put there and there's only one banner. This is the banner. So I just took off my name and the channel name and just put the cash app and Venmo instead so that Grant doesn't have to type it every time. If you guys do want to make a donation to the snack fund, you can still do it through the little dollar sign under the chat. You can still go to PayPal. Um, there's a link that um, Grant has that's for this Melon app that they have their own donation and that doesn't um, take any fees. And then I have on here Cash App and Venmo because they don't take any fees. Um, it's never like an obligation or anything to, to do the snack fund or make a donation, but people ask and it is very nice um, if you wanna support the channel. So, uh, so yeah. Oh, okay, I missed it. Uh, oh, okay, Bella. Okay, I see what I see what you were saying, Thomas, and Bella saying channel name is also in the lower right. Okay, I wonder. Let's see. I don't want to mess this up because last time I kind of messed it up, but it lets me do weird things as I'm. Hold on. Let's see. Banner. Let's see what this says. No. Let's see. Settings. No. No. I don't know if I could. I don't know. I know that I could change it while I'm on here, but I'm for some reason not seeing where to do it at this very point. Oh, well. Well, next time. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. That's better. Thank you for sharing that with me. Okay. Um, it's not going to be next Sunday. It's going to be the following Sunday on the 20th. Hey, Nick. Hey, Paul. Thank you, Grant, for posting the link. Hey, Terry Zaleski's in the house. Uh, okay, awesome. Thanks, Thomas. Uh, hey, Terry Reed from Ohio. Um, so the blue banner, it's that big because there's a lot of information on there, so I can't squeeze it down. It's just that size. I can move it around, but it's going to be that same size. And I can't put it on two lines. So, hey, Danette is in the house. What it do, DG? Go follow her uh, channel. And also go channel, go follow Many Roads, No Rules channel as well. They have great YouTube channels. And Arrowcast. I mean, Arrowcast's YouTube channel is great. Um, has a lot of subscribers, but it's in, what, Portuguese? So if you could speak Portuguese or understand it, go and <laughs> go subscribe. Uh, my home state, hope you had a great time. I did. Can I ask how traveling in a car van changed your life? Oh, yeah. So traveling in a car van um, changed my life perspective of just being more compassionate towards everybody and realizing that everybody's just out here trying to make it in the world. And nobody is above anybody else. And everybody should be more patient with each other, more tolerant of each other, listen more, um, and just know that we're all on the same level. Nobody's, you know, even if somebody has like a fancy pantsy, you know, mansion, that no, they're not better. They're not better. And if you live in a vehicle, don't have no money, you're not worse. So yes, I think it's, you know, show me a lot. Okay. Thank you, Grant. Um, 
Hey, Jake from Georgia. I love Georgia. Hey, Nelson. How are you? Hey, Donnie. Uh, let's see. I regularly watch national news, so I'm used to the, <laughs> yeah, the scrolling along the bottom. Um, yes, if you're on here, hit, put the like. It, I don't, is that something about Portuguese? I don't, I don't speak Portuguese. I wish I did. I wish it could just be like melted into my brain, but it, it doesn't work like that. All right, so let's get it popping. Um, it's mother flipping hot today. Now, when I say that, it's only like 75 degrees, <laughs> but it's hot in my van. I have my, my fan blowing, wait, where the camera on me right now. It's hot. What is my hair? My hair is in a tall ponytail, so it keeps hitting the roof. So if it just looks like that, that's just going to be a, just a thing that's going to happen. Um, I'm doing great, Nelson. Thank you. Um, okay. So I'm a little bit scattery today. I feel like there's things happening all around me, like in front of me, I'm, par I'm parked on side, like the street in front of me, there's like a bunch of like teenagers and they're practicing for like a quinceanera. They're, they're dancing and it's just really cool, but it's distracting to me. And then people are over here having like a picnic. It's just all over the place. I feel scattered today. Um, good thing I wrote down some notes. But anyways, it is hot. So I know there's a lot of you that have sent me messages telling me that it's snowing. My son Marcus in Texas has snow. And if you remember last year on Valentine's Day, I was at my son's house and we had that big Texas storm, ice storm. So Texas is again getting hit with snow. And he said that um, like last week it was in the 70s. So Texas is, doesn't can't make up its mind about the weather. Um, but it's hot today. It's hot. And at night, it's been really cold. So I've been running my heater at night. And then during the day, I'm like in shorts and a tank top. It's, it's crazy. Um, Jane said it. Let's see. Oh. It reached. Oh. Hold on a second. It puts the like in the bin or it gets the hose again. Uh, let's see. It reached 30, 33. Is this the bloopers? It reached 33 degrees here in Dayton, Ohio, possibly in mid to high 30s. This, oof. It's too cold. <laughs> I didn't cuss though. Water alarm. Thank you. Thank you. For those of you that know me, I'm trying to stay hydrated and all of you should too, because water is life. I'm also interchanging my water with this lemonade. I don't really usually drink lemonade cause it's hard on my stomach, but I have such still like phlegm in my throat from like post nasal drip. I'm trying to cut it with some acid. I don't know if it's really working, but I'm trying not to drink too much of this cause it has sugar in it. But, I've been trying different things, but water is still the way to go. Lisa says, you have definitely been an inspiration to me. I'm 43 and just started living in my car by choice to save money so I can eventually, ooh, love it, love it, love it. Thank you for watching and being part of the snack pack. A beautiful sunny and 48, that's awesome. Um, let's see. Oh, Aerocast coming through with the five small contribution, but I can't send money through those options. Hope. Oh, thank you so much. Get a nice snack. Yes, I definitely will. Let me give you a shout out. Let's give you. Whoa. Oh, let's give you this one. Thank you so much. I appreciate that very much. Um, yeah, poor Texas. Please send some of the heat my way. It's only 30, 35, and it feels like 24. Jeez. Feet pics. I'm not sure what that's referencing, but I'm not selling my feet pics. So it looks like it just sent all this chat all the way back. 
to the beginning. Okay, let's see. Why not just add a wedge or two of lemon in your Oh, I also bought lemons. I just got this lemonade like right before the live stream and I bought three lemons. So I'm gonna start doing lemon in my water. And also, um, I don't wanna like commit to this, but I think I'm gonna forego my coffee in the morning because it has usually has a lot of cream and sugar. And I think as long as I can like stand it, I think I'm gonna switch to tea for a while and add just honey and lemon. Um, to try to like cut some of the phlegm. I'm trying to get better at um, not eating foods that are that cause inflammation. So I'm trying to not only slim down, but also just get my body back healthy. So I do, I did buy some lemons and some apples and some tea and stuff like that. Hey, Kayla, how are you? I'm doing great. Thank you. Okay. Awesome. All right. So, um, I'm in North County, San Diego. Um, so it's the cities like Carlsbad, Encinitas, uh, Vista, San Marcos, Oceanside. I'm in that area. Um, because I have a few doctor's appointments over here and it's kind of a funny story, but it's not kind of funny too, because <laughs> uh, on Friday I had a doctor's appointment and it was with dermatology. Um, so one of my friends told me about this a while ago that if you get a, ref a referral from your doctor or even your doctor can do it, they do like a full body scan with a light and they check like every part of you for, you know, anything that looks suspicious like moles or anything that could look like it's grown too fast or doesn't have the, the right look to it that could be a suspicious thing to look out for. Um, so I went on Friday, she did this the, to dermatology. She did a scan and found just like a slightly maybe suspicious mole on my back. So she's like, okay, well, we're going to um, stick you with a needle for lidocaine to like numb this area. And then we're going to slice it off and, you know, send it away to get biopsy. So that's fine. You know, she's like, it's going to just sting a little bit and that's fine, whatever. It stung, but whatever. So she shaved it off and then they put like Vaseline and a Band-Aid and um, she's like, don't get it wet for 24 hours, but every day for the next week, you need to take the Band-Aid off, put Vaseline and put a Band-Aid on. It's literally like, I can't literally reach it. It's in the, it's in a spot that my arm, either of my arms cannot reach that. And the nurse is like, okay, you're going to have to have your husband do this for you. I'm like, what husband? Where? Are you supplying this for me? I don't have anybody. I live, I'm in a van. I don't, I don't have, I don't have it. I don't have that. So I'm like, do I just go up to a stranger and be like, this is a weird request, but can you take my Band-Aid off and put a new Band-Aid on? It's weird. So that was Friday and now today's Sundays and it feels like a little itchy and I'm like, I need to figure something out here. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do because I can't reach it. This is a struggle, another struggle of being single. I guess I could go back to the doctor and just ask a nurse. I don't know. Is that weird? But I'm not going to just go like to urgent care. I guess I could go to urgent care. No, that's going to be too busy. Obviously, I'm thinking out loud, but I don't know what people do that are single and have to change band-aids on their back. Um, yeah, dairy is definitely not good for phlegm, and I'm trying to stay away from it. If you do tea, try green tea with honey. Okay, I will. I do have some, some teas uh, in my snack box. Um, I do like tea. It's obviously not my favorite compared to coffee, but I do like it. That's good, Kayla. I'm glad you're doing good. Um, Deb says, cinnamon spice tea makes a good hot, cold or hot drink. Cinnamon is good for you, I hear. The, my favorite one is the, um, like the mint tea. Um, I just like that feeling. I drink a gallon of green tea a daily, a gallon. In the morning, I have a mug with milk. The rest of my tea has lemon and natural soup. Oh, interesting. 1-800-RENT-A-HUSBAND. Um, <laughs> Hello from Walbridge, Ohio. Hey, Brenda. Um, I, yeah, there's plenty of pharmacies around like Walgreens and stuff. I want, do they do that? Um, both Grant and Tracy said that. So maybe, yeah, I didn't even think about that. Yeah. There's like Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, 
there's all kinds of pharmacies. Um, so yeah, maybe you think they would do that? Is that weird? <laughs> Pimples on the back while single sucks also. <laughs> That's facts. Yeah, I'd go to a pharmacy. They usually good for stuff. Oh, I did not know that. Hey, Courtney. Yeah, I feel weird going into a pharmacy and asking that, but at the same time, I don't want it to get infected and I don't want to go a week without changing out the band-aid because on the little paperwork, when they sent me off, they said, don't let it scab up, like keep it with the Vaseline so that it just um, closes up or whatever naturally. Um, it's got to be a small thing because it, was like, it wasn't like a huge mole, you know, but I can't see it, so I don't, can't tell you. Um, yeah, it doesn't hurt to ask, I suppose. The pharmacies that have the little clinics. Yeah, maybe that's true. Okay. I'm too shy. Okay. So anyways, um, that's my funny story. That's kind of funny, but like not funny because I really need to figure it out. <laughs> like like probably, probably by tomorrow. Um, okay. So speaking of tea, um, I was, I was trying to get my hair cut before Christmas and, and I, I didn't, I couldn't get an appointment. And so then, uh, obviously on Christmas, I got sick and I was out for three weeks. So, um, I've been trying to get a haircut. So finally, um, was it yesterday? No, I think it was Friday after my doctor's appointment. I went to Supercuts, and usually I just get a, the cheapest cut they offer, but I saw on their menu that they had a haircut with a shampoo and a haircut with a tea tree experience shampoo. Now, they marked it up pretty high and usually I wouldn't do it, but I haven't had a haircut in so long and excuse me. And my hair has been kind of feeling like a little bit like, uh, weighed down maybe over time, like shampoo and stuff has just kind of weighed it down. Um, so I was like, you know, what? I'm going to treat myself to a tea tree experience and it was awesome. It was awesome. So they use a tea tree shampoo and conditioner and the tea tree oil oils in it, they tingle. So it was like they, use that and then they do a massage and then they put this hot towel over your eyes and forehead. You have to wear your mask though. So the lady said that some people don't like that, but I did because it was really like felt good. Um, it was great. So if you have a super cuts near you and you're comfortable doing that, I'd say pay the little extra every once in a while because it really felt good. And then I got my hair cut. You probably can't tell because it's still long, but she took off like an inch and a half to two inches. Uh, because it was just getting too long for me. Um, pretty soon I got to get a, some kind of color going cause my grays are popping like fireworks. Um, but that's expensive and I don't know, I need to figure it out in the next month or so. But anyways, that's a story for another time. Um, Jane says there used to be a business called rent a husband wives hired them for carpentry or building jobs the husbands wouldn't do. That's hilarious. Uh, maybe put a, some on the wall <laughs> and use a mirror to see and do like the bare scratch to rub it in. I think I'd it'd get infected if I did that. Uh, I'm shy but too, but pharmacies are always nice with little things like that. Okay, well, I, I'm, I might give it a try and report back to you on our next live stream. Definitely, uh, if you need a haircut, see if they offer that where you are. Who doesn't love having their hair washed? I know. She did a good job, too. Like, she got in there with her nails and, like, you know, did a good scrub. And then, you know, she was just, like, massaging my temples. And it was so nice. It was so nice. Um, be proud of those grays. I'm 72 and could never color my hair. And have never colored my hair. Oh, wow. I've colored my hair a bunch. Um, okay. I just received a notification. That one says, I'm live. And this one says, oh, Terry's, Lex Terry's Lesky, $20 donation. Thank you so much, Terry. <coughs> uh, let me give you a shout out. Let's give you, because you are always a blessing. Thank you very much, Terry. You are a true, true blessing. Um, I wish that this Melon app had these sounds for donations. They do offer a sound, but it's just like one sound and I don't know how to change it. 
Um, but I think it's only if you donate through their donation link. But I haven't, I don't know for sure. Um, but it'd be cool if I could program some of these into like the donation to do it automatically. I want to check into it for the future. Um, but thank you very much for the donation. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Teacher Experience was created by Paul Mitchell, the best family-owned company ever. Oh, I did not know that. You show us all your gray roots, but feel uncomfortable asking to, <laughs> to have a bandage change at the pharmacy. I mean, you make a good point. You do make a good point. Let your hair go gray. Plenty of young women have beautiful gray hair. Um, I'm not ready for that yet. And also, not I'm not being a jerk at all, but um, my mom, she, like, a couple years ago, she was like, you know what? I'm done. I'm done coloring. I'm going to just let it go gray. And it wasn't a good look. And, and we all was were like, oh maybe color it one more time. And she did. And she looked like 10 years younger. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just saying real life. And so I'm thinking if I do that, I'm, I'm probably going to be in the same boat. So I'm not, I'm not ready for that yet. Strands of wisdom. I do love that. I must have a lot of wisdom. Oh, tea tree oil is great for hair. Also anyone with uh, kind kids drop or kids add a drop or two in shampoo and conditioner. Good for keeping life life away uh or maybe lice um oh yeah i see it thank you green tea lemon and honey is best yes okay let's see jake says i'm about to be 45 in may this year and only got gray in my goatee dang i've been having grays for like a long time but when i my hair was just my regular color like my regular color is this dark almost black and i used to just color it myself because it's easy to just color it with one color but now when i have like highlights blonde highlights i'm not able to do that on my own so that's like one that's like my one expense in life that's a little bit lux luxurious um because i'm pretty frugal with my money but there that's the one thing that i do kind of splurge on but i really don't get my hair highlighted like but every probably two to three months um you're supposed to do it every six weeks but i let it just go for a while have you ever tried to drink coffee black? It is an acquired taste, but once you get used to it, it's delicious. I have, and the only time I was okay with it was when I was in Costa Rica like a million years ago, because their coffee is delicious, not bitter. Um, and it's, I mean, they're known for their coffee. Um, it's hard because I've taken myself to a place where I have my coffee like a dessert now so it's like super sweet so i'd have to like really wean off of it i mean i guess i could just cold turkey and just start trying that but it is pretty bitter um yeah maybe courtney maybe a walk-in clinic i'm gonna check it out i need to go do something tomorrow i started drinking coffee on my first job because it was free and i was poor figured if you have to learn to love coffee might as well learn to like i mean that's that's true if i can if i can that would be awesome because i wouldn't have to like have all this extra stuff that goes in it try nice and easy it gives you high and low lights um yeah so the lady that does my hair um whenever i'm able to go um she only wants me to do um semi or demi permanent color on my roots because if you put like the what is it like the permanent color it like messes when she actually ends up doing my hair i don't know so sometimes i'm able to do it but when i do it it, it ends up like depositing some brown onto my blonde and it like makes it dull <sighs> i'm not a hairstylist i like coffee with my cream instead of cream that's basically me um what is your most underrated travel experience you can share with us something we should do mm. That's a really great question that I've never thought of. Um, I mean, I don't know how everybody feels, uh, you know, but I know for me, like when I just go into like a restaurant and go sit in there, that's to me, like in a different state or a different city, uh, it just feels nice because it just feels like you're in a different place and you're like seeing people come and go and people watching. Uh, and it just gives you like a different perspective, like the way people live and the way people, you know, go around and stuff. And then you try different foods in different areas and it, you know, sometimes it tastes a little bit different. So, 
I don't know, that maybe is not the, the best answer, but um, the most underrated travel experience, uh, sometimes it's just the simple things, you know, just simple, simple things. Going into somewhere unexpected or quirky or even going on like Atlas Obscura or um, like roadside attractions and going, going to see like the biggest ball of yarn or the biggest, you know, piece of gum or whatever. It seems stupid, <laughs> but sometimes it's just like fun. This car better not hit me. Um, sometimes it's just fun to go see that and just take a picture with it and, you know, just be basic. Um, Robbie, uh, I'm 39 and almost all my face hair is white, but not the hair on my head under my hat. Oh, interesting. Um, Starbucks is really bitter. Try McDonald's or Dunkin' coffee. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Uh, yeah, people watching. Yeah, people watching is a really underrated thing. You know, go sit on a bench at a park or go sit, you know, sit somewhere and just watch the way people interact. Also, I'm nosy. I'm not going to even lie. I am nosy. I'm an ear hustler, so I'll listen to people's conversations. And sometimes I get a chuckle about the way people talk or the way people... Oh, here is the thing. If you go and sit in a restaurant or something, you'll notice so quickly how people do not listen to each other. It'll be like this. Oh, I did this. Oh, I did this too, but I did it better. Oh, and then I did this and then blah, 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 blah. And they're just like talking at each other. No one's listening. And they're, they're like changing the subject and then like not listening. They're basically just talking to themselves across from a person. And I just want to sometimes stop them and be like, bro, are you, can you guys listen to each other? Or I've been in situations where, you know, it's a couple and they're having like an argument about something stupid. And I just want to just go up to them and put my hand on their shoulder and be like, it's going to be okay. Do you guys love each other? Then this is foolishness. It, just stop. Just stop it. Hug each other for 10 seconds and go get ice cream. Like people just argue about dumb things. People watching is great. <laughs> okay. Appearance is very personal. Go with what makes you feel good and beautiful. That's all the mess. Yes. Uh, yeah. People are really funny. People are really funny. And yet, you know, we're all just trying to make it in the world. Okay. So I talked about my teacher haircut. The next thing I want to talk about is a baklava. You guys know what's baklava? It's like, uh, they have it in different cultures, but the, but me and my nomad friends, we were having lunch. We were trying to find Turkish coffee and baklava, but we couldn't find it. The only one was like downtown San Diego. And if you've ever been to downtown, the parking sucks. The streets are kind of narrow ish. It's just not like some, it's not really somewhere you want to go with like a big vehicle. Um, so we didn't want to go downtown. So my friend Adriana, she found this place called Mr. Baklava SD, San Diego. So we drove over there. And when we got there, it was inside of a grocery store. It was just like a little kiosk on like in the grocery store. And I, I think she, she saw on their website that they had Turkish coffee. But when we got there, they, they did not have Turkish coffee. So we never got to try that. Um, but they had like 15 different types of baklava, like, like double pistachio, pistachio, this other stuff, super sweet pistachio stuff with chocolate on it. I mean, it was awesome. So we all got like a little container of baklavas and then we went to Starbucks and just, you know, hung out and ate the baklava. It is so good, but I played myself because, you know, I like things super sweet. So I got two baklavas, um, that the lady said was extra sugar, extra sweet. Cause I was thinking, Oh, I like, I like sweets, but even I was defeated by the super sweet baklava. It was too sweet for me. And that's saying something. It was just like too much. It was still really good, but I couldn't even eat the two pieces. Um, and then they had just like other traditional ones. Um, and if you went through that store, they had like all these really cool, just all these different cool, uh, sweets and pastries and stuff like that. But that little kiosk was just mainly for like baklavas and like Turkish delight and like different like gummy things with like coconut. And it was really good. Um, but I wish they would get Turkish coffee over there because then, you know, that would be just like a great addition to have with the pastry or with the, with the baklava. So if you're ever in the San Diego area, go try Mr. Baklava SD because it was great. 
Um, let's see. Um, how long do you plan on living in a car? So I sold my car back in 2020. So I've been living in my, this is my van. Um, and I've been living in it for a little over a year and I can't tell you how long I'm going to do it. Um, I feel like I'm just getting started though. So I don't really know. Um, it could be worse. I feel like it is weird using public restrooms. I don't know about you, but it is weird to me. I don't mind using public restrooms. I got super used to it when I was living in my car and I didn't have a toilet. So I was in, I've seen so many public restrooms. I could write a book about it. it like, honestly, it's crazy. Um, aliens are fun to watch you to, you know, I don't know. Uh, I don't believe in aliens. Um, yes, it was delicious. The baklava is so good. If it, yeah, this was really fresh too. Yeah, it's naturally sweet, but they added more sugar. Um, at a flea market years ago, two women were trying to outdo each other as to how much crap they had in their homes. Number one, I can barely walk around my furniture too. I only have a narrow path in my home. Yeah, it's like, and then people were like bragging about dumb things. They're like, why would you brag about that? But people are so funny. They just have to try to outdo each other instead of being like happy for each other and be like, oh, that's so cool. Or like really shutting their trap and just listening. And don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm guilty of it too. Sometimes I get excited and just want to talk. Um, but it is a definite skill to be a great listener. Um, one piece of baklava is good enough for me. Yeah, I probably should have just got one because I got three pieces and I only ate one and a half, basically, pieces. Um, hey, AGT Robbie, uh, $2, whoop, whoop. Let's give you a, oh, you know what I want to do? It, it allows me to do this. Watch this. <gasps> That's a cool feature. Do you guys see that? Robbie, I appreciate it very much. And hopefully you guys can see. So it lets me show stuff on the stream, like a little box. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, like even, not even just donations, but like even look. It's cool. It changes colors too. And that's just a very easy to do. So if somebody says something like a question... I should probably be like putting it up on there. Um, baklava's layers of butter between phyllo dough, butter, butter, butter. I think there are like 12 layers of dough. It's delicious. And it's it's very rich and sweet, so you don't really need a lot. Um, but sometimes people at restaurants make it too dry and it's crumbly and that's not, doesn't, it's not taste, it doesn't taste good. But if it's done right, it's kind of delightful. It's just really delightful. Um, a I don't know if this is a donation or not, but it says $3 from Cave60, but I don't see it on my end. I mean, I see it, it's just like typed out, but it doesn't look like a traditional donation. So if you did donate, um, let me know, because it just like, it looks different on my end. Like, I wonder, did you do it from the Streamlabs link or somewhere else? Oh, Grant sent $20. Woo -woo. Grant's got his own sound. Got to find it. Thank you so much, Grant. I appreciate you and Jackie so much. And I appreciate all that you do for the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I feel like this is a, like, here. It just looks like this. It says, $3 from Cave 60, pair character with lovely dovey eyes, flowing red hearts. <laughs> and I think that might be, like, a, a, sh a super chat. Um, so I'm going to give you a shout out. But uh, on my end, it just looks like text. So... Let's do. He shoots, he scores! Thank you very, very much, Cave Sixty. 
Um, hey, John, how are you? I am doing well. Okay, Lisa says, we met baklava when I was in school way back in the day when they still had home ec. It was so delicious. Yeah, it was really good. This is a new, yeah, this is a new streaming app. Hey, Dora from the Gypsy Movement. Thank you so much. Oh, I removed a bunch of people from moderators because um, me and Grant had to talk about it. And it was like, oh, I had added so many moderators temporarily back several months ago. We had uh, some troll coming in trying to, um, like, like imposters coming in, trying to be like, act like moderators and they were taking people out left and right. So at that time I made a lot of people moderators. And so I went through and just like cleaned up the channel and cleaned up the moderators and stuff like that. So now we're just down to a couple moderators that are on here consistently, but no love lost, you know, for the people that I, you know, took out. Um, but we basically just needed a couple people as moderators. And I appreciate those that were uh, there when this was happening to be moderator. Um, awesome, Grant. Um, if you like chocolate, try Brooklyn blackout cake. Layers of dark chocolate cake, dark chocolate frost. Oh boy, dark pudding, and then repeat. Oh my gosh, I like chocolate, but I'm trying to stay away from too much sugar. Um, yeah, I don't know. That was weird. Thank you, Terry. I am enjoying my new nomad friends too. They're super great. I met like a few great travel buddies. Um, yes, Gabriel, can I make a suggestion? I'd love to see the day by day, like washing dishes, using the refrigerator and all that while you share your thoughts. Okay, perfect. I'm write that down day by day. I always think like, sometimes I do record stuff like that and I put it in to some of the videos. Um, but a lot of times it could be boring because like, you know, I'll show like my regular day, but probably eight of those hours is just me sitting on my bed editing and nobody wants to just watch a video that's eight hours long. So, um, but I do have some day-to-day -day stuff filmed, so I'm going to start, I'll start doing that. Okay. Thank you, Cave60. I appreciate that. Um, hey, Tracy's coming through with five. Have a lovely snack. I sure will. It's going to be a healthy snack. Let's give you, oh, let's see. Let's give you this guy was walking by when I did that and he was like, I <laughs> didn't know where it came from. Thank you so much, Tracy. I appreciate that very much. That was actually really funny. Um, hey, hola. Uh, let's see. Reverend RV. Uh, baklava sounds Transylvanian. Yeah, it does. Um, well, you know, I still love you, my friend, just making sure yourself. Yes. Thank you very much. I know. I know. Um, uh, so the moderators are people that have a little wrench next to their name and they basically do a, like, uh, making sure that there's no trolls in here, making sure to keep the chat moving along and that nobody's saying weird things and also putting links and, um, just noting, like, if we're going to have a change in the dates of the live streams. And the moderators do a fabulous job. Um, the main ones that are here is Grant's been here since the beginning, since the beginning, beginning. Um, and Robbie's been here for forever as well. Um, and so they're the main two that are here on like almost every stream. Um, so they're our main moderators and they just make sure that everything goes smoothly. Or like if people start talking like super crazy about like politics or something heavy that we don't like to talk about on this, channel, then they'll be like, Hey, let's just keep it fun and light. And, you know, we just try to keep things fun because there's already too much heaviness in the world. So, um, travel snacks is all about just being kind and having fun. Okay. Let's see here. Um, we're going to talk about one last thing and then we're going to play games. Um, let's see. <laughs> Jane, have you made any single male nomad friends? Um, I have met some nomad friends, not for dating though. Um, just a couple, um, 
Like there's one guy that I met that we've met up one time. I was going to meet him up at the Schooly Palooza, but I ended up not going. Um, but he's just a friend. I haven't met any like single, like, you know, single dudes, nomads that I would be like, Oh, you know, um, I wish, but that hasn't happened. I pray about it, but it's in God's timing. Um, you should revert your banner back to what it was with the donation links. Okay. Let me see. Uh, how do you even do that? Oh, how do you even do that? Ah, there we go. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Um, Gabriel, I have written it down. So yes, I will add more day in the life of van life. I think most people are interested in those as well. Um, day by day cooking and stuff like that. Okay. Day by day fridge stuff, cooking, cleaning. So just basic, like basic day stuff. Hey Mimi, I caught a lot of, I'm new to your channel, but just love, thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Welcome to the snack pack. Hey Jonah. Uh, okay. Like party snacks. Uh, I was watching your P at night vid living in your car. Um, how about a bedpan with doggy pee pad? I can't bend my knees like you can. <laughs> um, I thought of all sorts of things. Uh, for me, I'm not coordinated. So with a bedpan, I felt like I was going to spill it. Um, but a doggy pee pad, uh, that would be a good solution as well. Um, depending on the absorbency, but you got to do what works for you. And I had an air mattress, so it was hard to like maneuver. So I had to do certain things that made me feel like I could go to the bathroom. Uh, yes, I still am in California, but I'm really getting kind of antsy and starting to think about getting on the road um, next month. So I'll keep you guys posted. I'm praying about it and just seeing what my plan is. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm trying to get healthier. Did you guys see something pop up on the screen with a heart? Cause I didn't, uh, gotta go. Okay. Thank you for being here. Um, I don't know what time it is over there, but maybe it's super late. I don't even know, but have a great night and thank you for coming and thank you for watching. Uh, Kayla says I would basically have to live in a car myself storm chasing in tornado season. Oh dang. That's too scary. Bye Terry. Thank you for being here. God bless you. Uh, Dora says, if y'all can pray for my dad, he stepped on a roof nail. Oh, and with diabetes, he, ha he had his big toe removed. That's why I haven't had a chance to catch a live. Oh no. Yeah. Everybody say a prayer for Dora. Um, that sounds really, really harsh. So definitely saying prayers for your dad. Um, great. Jane, we're going to talk about this right now. The over the illegal overnight parking. Um, thank you so much, Gabriel, for being here. Um, never have a good night. Oh, we're not. Yeah. Let's see. I'm trying to catch it up so that I can talk about this. Bye, Tona. Oh. Terry Sinatius coming through with $5 for baklava and hugs. Let's give you... Thank you very much, Terry. I appreciate you so, so much. 650 in Texas. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. So, um, okay. So about the illegal parking, there's, there's so much to talk about, about it, but I'm just going to keep it to just like a couple minutes because I want to play the games and let you guys have your evening to yourself. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, it's in San Diego, it is illegal to sleep in a vehicle. Um, and a lot more cities are starting to do that. And it's, it's a cause that I'm willing to put my efforts and energy into. Um, I'm really against that ideology, ideology where it should be banned for someone to sleep in their vehicle. If you own your vehicle or you're paying for your vehicle, it's yours and you should be able to 
sleep in it or live in it or do whatever you need to do. And especially if you're parking on public streets, um, which I need to do more research because as far as I know, if you pay taxes, you're paying for the roads as well. But let me not get too crazy. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of a problem in San Diego because a lot of people are getting tickets um, for parking in certain areas that are supposed to be um, like public areas. But certain sections of San Diego have posted signs. It's been for a while now, but it'll say like no parking between or yeah, no, no parking between like 2 a.m. and 4 a.m., which, you know, if you're sleeping, those would be times where you'd be sleeping. And I'm going to make a video about this. so I don't want to like get too involved in it, but um, I parked in a neighborhood uh, that I've parked in a hundred times before and I never stay in the same spot more than one night and I'm always hovering in different areas um, and I like rarely stay somewhere more than one night maybe two nights but that's like my absolute cap um, but I've stayed there on and off you know so many times before and I got a notice on my my windshield in the middle of the night. I got to this street um, after 10 p.m and left before 6 a.m. So whoever put this on my windshield would have had to do it in after 10 p.m. Um, in the middle of the night. And it was just a person, like a person that lives in that neighborhood. And it was typed up and it was like, please don't park in our neighborhood. You know, it's against the law. Um, next time we're going to be calling the police and we've taken a picture of your license, your, your, uh, your license plate and uh, don't park here anymore. And I see both sides. Don't get me wrong. I'm not being like a total jerk. But also, this neighborhood had plenty of parking. I wasn't even parked in front of somebody's house. Um, it was like a side like gate. And then on the other side, it was like a business. And I'm just like, what are you doing with your life? If you're like so angry to just in the middle of the night be putting notices on people's fans. Now, I know everybody has opinions and strong opinions probably, and especially if you're a homeowner and you pay property taxes, but what happened to sharing and being kind to each other? And also people are getting tickets and then their cars are getting impounded and then they're living on the street in a tent or on a sleeping bag. So it's definitely a fight that I'm willing to go down for. <laughs> um, so it just, it just kind of like sparked something. That was weird. Um, so yes, yeah, so I've been, um, talking to my nomad friends. Um, there's another nomad, um, uh, YouTuber that I'm not sure if she wants me to mention her name, so I won't mention it on the live stream. I'm going to talk to her first, but she's been pretty active in this uh, this topic in the San Diego area. Um, so we're joining forces, and I, I think we're going to try to like get a bunch of van people to go meet at City Hall <laughs> and people that live in vehicles and stuff, and kind of challenge this thought that you know people can't be. Um, living like stay in their cars and also be quiet and don't litter and stuff most nomads that i know that live this full-time lifestyle they're very cautious about you know being kind to each other um being you know leave no trace for trash and stuff not playing loud music and you know then we get punished for the people that are doing it like part-time or people that, you know, are just ruining it. Like in any, anything, there's always going to be people that are going to be like the bad fruit. Um, so I bring this up because if you're, if you have strong opinions the other way, I ask that you just think about it. Just think about it. You don't have to change your mind, but if you have opinions on the side that I'm saying, you know, then also think about it for your own city as well. If you're a nomad, because it's like, Nothing's going to change until people start understanding that this is a lifestyle choice. And sometimes it's not even a choice for certain people. So we shouldn't be like criminalizing people that are staying in their car as opposed to sleeping on the street, which is another whole issue in itself. 
So obviously I didn't park back in that neighborhood again, which is a bummer because I parked there many times and it's a quiet location. Um, but I don't know. I don't know if I'll do it again or not because I don't really want to get a ticket. <laughs> and the ticket is like $52 every time. Um, and there's plenty of other spots that I can park. But anyway, that's my little rant. Let me read some of these comments. Uh, let's see. Jonah, I've got Auntie Pants. Oh, Temecula, I used to live in Marietta. It's a great place. There's some really great restaurants over there. Um, yeah, and we pay for public streets. You're right on. Um, where can I send the petitions for you and all who can help? Uh, I don't, we don't have a petition. We're just kind of starting the talks about this. Um, so I'll keep you guys posted if anything pops off. Um, Courtney says, that's not right. <laughs> I lived in San Diego by Claremont, uh, so I know where to go. Yes, same, Jonah. I know exactly that area. You really pay road taxes and vehicles through gas. True. But I wonder, like, on just residential streets, who pays for that? I know people pay property taxes, but I think we all pay it through, like, income tax, sales tax, other taxes. I'm not sure. That's something I want to, like, look into because I don't want to, you know, speak out information that's not true. Um, yeah, they they were watching. Yeah. Get a life, San Diego people. It's like any, any area that has like, well, first of all, it's super expensive to live in San Diego. So people are like, I got to pay this highest mortgage or rent. And then you get to park here for free. Um, first of all, it's not like I've never worked or never lived in that area or lived in life and paid like stuff. I don't know. People just get, they don't have, they need a hobby. Um, that's one of the main things I'm nervous about when I go full time, when I retire in a year and a half, I've been considering hospital parking lots. Okay. So, uh, Mimi, I wouldn't worry too much. Cause honestly, I've been doing this for over a year and I've parked in so many residential neighborhoods, so many hotel parking lots, so many everything's. And I've had like a very small handful of stuff happen like that. And I wouldn't let that be the deterrent. But I think over time, as more like vehicle living is becoming more popular, something's going to have to give because, you know, people are going to start getting like, I don't want anybody parking in my neighborhood. And it's like, bro, you don't own that neighborhood. Like it's public, especially when there's no signs too. No, busybodies agreed. Um, where do I sign this? <laughs> yeah, I will let you guys know if there's any petition or anything. Um, people can be rude and I think people just need to be like, calm down a little bit. A van compared to a car. What do you think? Um, I think it's literally some people just don't like to look at certain things. Like my van is not, uh, cute. It's not, it's kind of could be considered ugly, but if you parked a Range Rover in front of that person's area, Nobody would say nothing, guarantee you. If you parked something that was fancy and expensive, wouldn't say nothing. But because it's a van, and I literally got there after 10 and I was like so quiet. And, whoa, that's my water alarm. So I don't understand why it's bothering somebody to just because they don't want to look at something ugly. I don't know. Um, it's definitely an issue that's concerning, like you said, would they rather people live on streets? Exactly. Record the city hall visit on the subject. I definitely will if I go there. Um, we don't litter or cause problems. Exactly. Build petition online so people can definitely. If we do a petition, I'll definitely be online. That's not right. They should be spoken to for putting that on your property. And that's another thing. Don't touch my van. Um, yeah, a lot of people don't have a choice. You know, if you've um, been evicted or lost your job, especially during the pandemic, and you know, have medical bills or like whatever, billions of things can happen, situational things, you know, sometimes you don't have a choice. And if you have a vehicle, it's like, why not be able to like use it for your own living? They're watching for you. It is good boondocking. Um, 
let's see, federal taxes, infrastructure, fed and local. Many campers trash around their vehicles and ruin it for all of us. That's true. When you pay for your car, stickers and window stickers. Oh, interesting. First of all, none of is our own curb, so we do not own the roads. Your trash is no longer yours once it hits the curb. Oh, interesting. They don't own it. This is America. Facts. Gentrifiers ruin everything. Bad enough, they take over entire neighborhoods and force long-time residents out. Um, it's pure ignorance about van life. Yes. Uh, and I get it. You know, if you're not doing this, you may not get it. But don't just be all aggressive. Um, hello, just came on praying all as well. Thank you, Elva. Thank you for being here. People can be mean. Oh, minivan. Awesome. I love minivans. Many campers ruin it for the rest of us. Couple of nights ago, an old class C kept their generators and lights on. Oh no, that's the worst. Um, AGT, you already donated, but $8, that's a lot of snacks. Yes. That was epic. Thank you so much. Uh, do you prepare before you go somewhere? Yes. Uh, so wherever I'm at during the day, whether it's in near a park or in a parking lot or wherever I'm at, I always get ready. I put my pajamas on, make sure that I'm, you know, ready to go. Like when I pull up to a place, I literally pull up, turn off, turn off the lights, uh, turn off everything, go in, close my curtain. And then I'm just super quiet. I don't even turn my lights on in there. I just crawl into bed. And at the most, I might put on my iPad with some Netflix to like the lowest sound. And I turn down the brightness. So I'm literally like the quietest like person. So yeah, I always prepare before I get anywhere. Hey, Sean from Toronto. Awesome. Legal puppy is just ignorance about van lifers and homeless folks, which they fear. It would also be nice if cities would designate numerous. That's also true designate safe places for van life people to park. Um, I know people aren't going to want to pay ta extra taxes for that, but there's so many parking lots. Anyways, we could talk about this another time because I, uh, there's so much to talk about with that topic that I probably will reintroduce this topic on another live stream. Uh, but I just wanted to tell you that that happened to me last week and it really chapped my hide because I was just like, that's rude. I wasn't doing anything to annoy anybody and it just, kind of made me mad. So now I'm like, have this little fire burning in me that I'm like, you know what, I'm going to try to like, look into this a little bit further for the good of other people that are, you know, living in their vehicles. Oh no, Robbie, you've been sick. I'm sorry to hear that. Everybody pray for Robbie. Um, oh, wish I found your info earlier. I'm about to work on my way to the West coast from New England. It's relieving to know someone's doing this successful. Right? Awesome. Open them packs foo. Yes, uh, it's definitely, you can definitely do this, you know, you just have to, you know, just do the best you can and it's great. Okay, so we're going to play uh, Would You Rather. I have two questions and these are just really simple questions and if I've asked these before in the past, I'm sorry, um, but it'll be fine because a lot of you are new on here. Um, besides questioning it, maybe publicize the good van lifers do like the beach cleanup. Yes, exactly. I got a camping spot recently that someone left sharp, sharp pork chop ones all over the ground and grass. And I caught my dog eating one. The bones were so pointy. She could have gotten, oh, that sucks. People don't have common sense. Oh, Grant, did you do another donation? And was it a super chat? I think it doesn't show me the little character, but it just says like, Parrot character flying in the air with a red cape and a smile on his face. That's hilarious. It's actually funnier and greater to see it like this. It's like my imagination's like, oh, that's really cool. Well, I'm gonna give you your shout out another. Uh, hold on, these uh, teenage girls are walking by and. Thank you very much, Grant. I appreciate you so much. Um, amen. LA has parking for van lifers, but I forgot the agencies. Yeah, there are a few spots out here, but they're pretty far, you know, they, they're not like central. Um, look up charity agencies for spots. Definitely. Um, so yeah, it's something that I'm going to be working on with other nomads, other, uh, probably other YouTubers, you know, cause I'm, I'm thinking that, you know, my audience 
we're close to 45,000. Uh, the youth, other YouTuber that I'm talking to, she has close to like over 30,000. There's a bunch of other van lifers that stay in San Diego that probably have YouTube uh, with other like thousands of people. And it's like, if city, if the city manager or city people, you know, some of these people have to get elected. And, you know, if you get a bunch of people over there, I mean, who knows? I don't know anything about this yet, but it's definitely something I'm passionate about that I would dedicate some time towards. Um, so thank you guys for listening to my rant. That's my TED talk for today. <laughs> uh, awesome. Okay. Um, and Grant, I am the pair character. <laughs> you know it. Okay. So the way we play, would you rather, for those of you that are new is it's literally a question where I'm going to ask you for two options. You have to choose one. These are hypothetical. They're not real life. So it's just a fun game. Um, so I'm just going to ask you, would you rather choose this or choose that? And then you choose it. And then once you put your answer, you can also say what you think my answer is going to be. For those of you that have been around a long time, a lot of you know me pretty well. And you guys will just automatically guess what I would. But sometimes I fool you with some of my answers. So um, after this, we're going to play two would you rather questions. And then after this, we're going to wrap it up. And I want to remind you that we're not going to have a live stream next Sunday because of the Super Bowl. But the next one's going to be on February 20th. So that's going to be the next one. 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern. And if I can get it together by then, which I should be able to, I might have a guest on the next live stream. So that one's going to be a good one. So I don't want to make any promises, but I might do a guest on the next live stream. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So for the rest of your life, would you rather only be able to whisper or only be able to shout? So throughout your life, you, no matter what you're doing on the phone, in person, you know, whatever, whatever, if you're, you know, doing a speech or going through a drive through or going to the grocery store or anything, you can only whisper or you can only shout. Those are your two choices in life. That's, that's just the two choices. All right. Coming strong with Shannon, uh, whisper, um, Robbie's going to shout for those in Aussie. That's the 21st Monday, 11. Thank you, Tracy so much. Cause I always forget you are on a totally different day. All right. Kayla's going with whisper, Jeannie's whisper, Mimi's whisper, Marianne's whisper. Most of you are whisper, TJ whisper, uh, an old lady whisper. Reverend RV, I'd rather only be able to whisper. Tracy's whispering. We got so strong with whispering. Um, Erica said, whisper, shouting would get obnoxious. <laughs> Robbie says, I already lost. Randy's whispering. 223 whisper. Ola's whispering. Could get an amplifier. Ooh, that's an interesting thing. Um, Courtney says, whisper. And she thinks I will whisper as well. JJ Dogfather, whisper. Uh, Grant, is it Grant and Robbie going with shout? I feel like I do that already. I swear Jackie is. <laughs> okay. Uh, Lisa says whisper, Bella's whisper, Terry, uh, only be able to whisper, Allison whisper. I think you would pick whisper and Rebecca says whisper as well. And Marianne thinks I'm going to whisper. Did everybody answer that wanted to answer? So we only have two people that would choose to shout the rest of their life. And they're both our moderators. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, you could do sign language and most people don't know it. So you could talk about people and cuss. Ooh, that's a good tip. Why forever only ever holler back? Uh, Randy thinks I'm going to shout. Grant says, like you said, you're shy. You'd whisper. Um, hey, music maker. That's funny about the moderators with shout. Shout takes out stains. <laughs> Close. All right. So everybody's already answered that wants to. Also, I can't see how many likes are on the live stream. So if you haven't already put a like on this, put a like on it before 
you know, before the end of the stream so that YouTube knows you guys like the live streams. All right. So I'm going to choose whisper. You guys were all right. I'm like, even just talking this for like an hour, a little over an hour, my voice is already like tired at the end and I'm already, it's, I'm tired. So I could not even imagine having to shout everything. Whispering's the way to go. I'm okay with that. Also, I could start an ASMR channel and make a bazillion dollars because I'd be a natural at whispering. So that's a double win. So I'm going to choose whisper. And then I forget who just said you can use an amplifier. Maybe that's cheating. Sorry if it is, but you could, you know, and also like somebody else said, you can do sign language. So there's a lot going on. So whispering is the way to go. It kind of makes me want to just start doing that now, but that could get really annoying too for other people. So yeah, I'm going to stick with whispering uh, for the game. Um, oh, Okay. Oh, thank you, Robbie. 61 watching 72 likes. Awesome. Whisper and shout. <laughs> Grant says, I knew it. Jane says, I think he would shout. Nope. That was an easy one. <laughs> Shouting takes too much energy. <laughs> ASMR. Yes. All right. So the next and last question is, okay. Before, before I ask this again, I'm going to say this again because sometimes people get all riled up when I ask certain questions. This is just a game. I'm not saying to do this in real life. And I'm actually saying don't do this in real life. But I'm saying it's just a fun game. So would you rather, if your only mode of transportation and just the only mode of transportation locally, just like where you live, is you could either only ride on a donkey or you could only ride on an ostrich. Now, I'm not saying to do that because, you know, I've heard that ostriches aren't made for, you know, heavy people to be like riding on them because they're, they're birds. So don't do that. If you're traveling and you have an opportunity to ride an ostrich, don't do that. And, and donkeys can only hold so much weight depending on how big they are. So don't hurt a donkey either. But for this game, I'm just saying, it's just a game. If your only mode of transportation was like a super strong donkey or a super strong ostrich that you're not going to hurt, would you rather... Every time you have to go somewhere, you have to ride a donkey or an ostrich. Which one would you rather? Okay, let's see. Awesome, 81 likes. Uh, okay, Shanna's coming through with donkey. Erica's a donkey. Robbie's going with ostrich. Mimi's going with ostrich. Oops, it jumped for sure. Um, Courtney's going with donkey and thinks I'm going to choose a donkey. Oh, uh, let's see. A uh, genie's going with donkey. Kayla, donkey. TJ, uh, TJ, Terry, JJ, and Tracy, and Reverend RV, and uh, are all uh, going for the donkey. Um, Courtney says, "Poor donkey." Uh, Marianne thinks donkey for her and me. Uh, so most of you are going for this donkeys. Lisa, Bella, Deb, G. Four legs are better than three. I don't know why it keeps doing that. Um, let's see. Ostrich, easier to park and feed. Hey, Mark. I'm late again. Gosh, darn it. Uh, Rebecca says donkey. Deb G says two legs. Uh, Randy's Randy, the music maker, says donkey. Uh, Mario, a donkey stretch. So that's like, that'd be a weird combination. Yeah, I can't even imagine that. Uh, Tracy thinks I'm going to pick a donkey. Um, an old lady says donkey. Mimi says donkeys are mean. That's true. Uh, Shannon says, I think it's hilarious that you have to make it clear that you are not endorsing riding donkeys or ostriches. Some people need to play more games. I agree. I agree. We need to lighten up in the world. Joke, sometimes jokes are funny. And some, like, nobody's like endorsing animal abuse, but it's just a game. But yeah, it's funny that nowadays we have to always preface everything. Legal Whoopi says, ostrich, I have to get there. Oh, I also want to make a, a point I probably should have made at the beginning that I looked this up and donkeys can, can go about 15 miles an hour. Ostrich, ostriches can go like 45 miles an hour. 
Now, of course, if you're, you know, heavier than the donkey or the ostrich, it might slow them down. But I'm saying that's a big jump. I'd walk next to the ostrich till someone looks at me like, what? <laughs> that's funny. Ostrich, so much faster than a donkey and so much more of a challenge to ride. The head in the sand can be a bit annoying. <laughs> Dora says, I prefer walking, better for your health. Uh, Terry says, donkey for Allison, H. Velez, donkey, it's a hybrid. That's funny. We have donkey rides here on the beaches in the UK. Uh, you'll pick donkey. I love Allison's reactions to donk, donk, donkey stretch. That's funny. Donkeys are awesome. They can carry a lot of weight and they can travel for long periods of time. Uh, Robbie says ostrich for the win. Donkeys are used at Grand Canyon. That's true. They do have donkey rides there. And obviously, you know, I think in those cases, they pick donkeys that are bigger and can hold the weight of whatever, you know, depending. Um, but you know, you don't want to ever ride a donkey that's like a hundred pounds or whatever, and you're 200 pounds or 250. So that wouldn't be a good idea, but we're not talking about that. This is just a game. Um, maybe put an ostrich on the donkey and walk. That's an interesting, Allison's next nomad move, living on a donkey. No, that's, whoa, that's, I couldn't hardly bring anything. My snacks could have gone like a snack bag, but how do you go to the bathroom? That's the whole thing. Donkeys were also never, will also never walk off the edge of a cliff. I did not know that. I'd make a sled for the ostrich to pull me. Hilarious. I'd rather ride a donkey. Kong. Funny. All right. Did everybody answer that wanted to answer before I give my answer? Uh, let's see. Mimi says you would have better line of sight on an ostrich. Well, ostrich species are you talking about? I don't know. I'm not an ostrich expert, but I know in some like other countries, they do ostrich like rides. They're discouraged though. It would be hilarious to see someone ride an ostrich. It really would. Plus it would look totally, I'm not going to cuss, but it's funny. Um, I'd rather ride an Australian cassowary. What is that? I don't even know what that is. What have I walked into here? Am I on acid? Donkeys are ostrich. Brilliant. <laughs> that would be funny if you're just coming onto the live stream. You already said donkey. No, I didn't answer yet. I didn't answer. I didn't. Did everybody, but did everybody answer that wanted to answer? And I'm going to give my answer and then we're going to wrap it up. I don't know what I'm having for dinner yet. I'm kind of a little bit hungry, but not, it's only 520. So I think I'm not going to be hungry for like another hour, but I don't know. I'm not, I had, I had a fish, mahi mahi fish burrito last night and it was actually really good, really fresh and really tasty. And I might just get that again because it was really good. And I do not feel like cooking tonight on a live stream night. I usually go get something cause I'm just too like, you know, I've been busy all day, posted a video and edited and prepared for this. And I'm like, I'm ready to relax. Okay. Um, Grant, donkey, donkey, donkey. Uh, Mario says, have ostrich. Uh, I don't know what a cassowary is. Um, hey, Gypsy Wagon. Hello, first time here. Welcome. I wish you well and the Lord watch over you. Thank you very much. Um, have you found something out with the candy box from me? I have not. I have not. Um, I don't really have any any place for anyone to send me anything, especially because I'm probably going to be getting on the road soon. So it's going to be even harder, but it is in the back of my mind, but I haven't figured that out. Um, Hey, Leslie, thank you for being here. Uh, Tracy says cassowary is like an ostrich, but mean, like they chase you. No, I don't, I don't want that. And the winner is I'm choosing an ostrich. I know you guys are shocked, but look at how fun. Now I probably get annoyed with that thing because I mean, first of all, you got to learn how to ride it because if they're going 45 miles an hour, you're going to be like, whoa. And then you're going to be like falling off the side like a bull ride. But after you master that, you're going to get so many fun, like friends, because you're going to be like going to the grocery store, rolling up with your ostrich 
And then they're going to be like, what the heck? And then you're going to be like, yeah, I'm nice. You want to be friends? And then you're going to be friends. And an ostrich is fun. A donkey's fun too, but you know, it's more like a horse. So it's just like regular, but an ostrich, you can decorate that ostrich with hats and stuff. You can put a boa around its neck, like feathers, more feathers. And it could be like a party ostrich. And I don't know. I just think that'd be so fun and you can get there faster. Like Grant said, so I'm literally choosing an ostrich. Uh, Judy, uh, okay. Judy says, okay. About the box. Uh, Courtney says, what? <laughs> Robbie, whoop, whoop. Grant <laughs> two for two for me for Ola. Mimi says, yay. Robbie won. Uh, Terry, I'm not sure where I'm going yet. I might go to some Southern states, but I'm not quite sure yet. I have been praying about what direction to go. Uh, <laughs> oh, she thought this out. Uh, Deb G, I missed it. Where are you going? School? No, I don't have any like specific plans um, of going anywhere yet. Um, I vote for a road runner. Oh, they're too small. Mimi, grandma had uh, two ostrich on her farm. Oh, wow. Interesting. Sorry. I bet winning Winnie the Pooh would ride a donkey. Poor Eeyore. Oh, you could join an ostrich club and ride together like motorcycle. That's funny. Um, I was going to say something. Um, I just totally slipped my mind. It was about getting on the road. I was just going to say something. Mm, oh, I was going to say that I just did a, um, cause a lot of you were interested in the van tours and interviews. So I've already filmed one uh, van tour already. And with my friend Adriana, and it's going to be, and it's going to be a great video, a great tour. And then we're going to be doing an interview probably sometime this week. So look out for that video coming probably this week. And I have some really cool videos coming soon. And I'm really excited because now that I'm meeting more nomads, I can start making more of these tours. So I'm very excited about this. So stay tuned for more tours and interviews. All right. So let me read these last comments and then we're going to wrap it up for the day. Those of us on donkey will be late. That's fine. Where you at? I would love some salmon patties for supper. Uh, I do love a good salmon patty. Um, Reverend Harvey, when in, when arcade video games were invented, there used to be one named Joust and I had a night riding, a night riding an ostrich. Funny. Um, sorry, I'm late. I'm sneak texting. Ooh, that's so suspicious. I do need more snacks. No, I really don't. I really don't. Awesome. Okay. If, so we're going to wrap it up for today. Um, thank you guys for being here. It's always a pleasure. Um, again, the next one's going to be on the 20th, February 20th, and I'm going to try to organize a guest, um, for at least part of the live stream, just to like liven it up and maybe play some games with that person or do some questions or like a 20 questions thing. Or if you have any ideas, email them to me or DM me on Instagram at travel snacks underscore. Um, yeah, I have some ideas of my own, but I'm always open to other ideas because I'm going to try to bring on some more guests to make this more festive. So I appreciate all of you so, so much. You guys are a blessing to my heart. Thank you for all the donations, all the support, encouragement, love, everything. It's just such a joy. The snack pack is amazing and awesome. And I love you guys so, so much. And I appreciate you. And I hope you guys have the like greatest weekend. Um, hold on. I'm getting a an alert. I don't want to miss anybody. Oh, oh, Don Williams just sent $10. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Don. Thank you very much, Don. I appreciate that. Um, wait, let me scroll back. 
<laughs> AGT. Wait. Have a good night. Bye. 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 Um, <clears throat> this has been fun. Good night. God bless. Um, twenty dollars. Robbie, stop it. Thank you so much, Robbie. I appreciate you it so so much. Um, thank you, Jeannie. Uh, whoop whoop. Take care, everybody. Have a great week. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Yes, happy Valentine's Day to everybody. Um, love love each other every day, but Valentine's Day is just like a strong reminder to share the love, spread the love, be kind to each other, especially the single people. We all need hugs and love. Um, God bless you. Uh, take care. Thank you, uh, Terry. I'm just reading the comments and then I'm going to close it out. It was nice seeing you, Allison. Come to Washington in spring or summer, maybe. Laters. Take care. Uh, can't wait for the new vids. Take care. Whoop, whoop. Uh, come to Washington. Have a good week. Be nice to all. Yes, indeed. All right. So I got to figure out how to close this out. The app for the streams is called Melon. And it's they have a free plan, but they also have some paid plans as well. All right. Um, thank you, Grant, for posting that. Thank you, Jane. Have a great evening. And God bless you all. And I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye for now.